Where on earth, right now, today, in 2020, do blacks have it better than in the United States? Black Americans can face different forms of discrimination and still be living in the best place in the world for someone of their skin color, period. Question of the day, have you heard of the supposed black sit that's occurring with black Americans? They're, they're leaving the United States, moving back to Africa. It's mm -hmm. being advocated by a lot of black activists. Do you know anyone personally? And do you think blacks need to leave? Because not me, this yep. is what they are advocating <laughs> over at Essence Magazine. Uh, I think we have, the, yeah, we have this article right here from Essence. There's this increasingly sort of common claim that black Americans, can we say blacks? Do we, what do we, is, is blacks uh, okay? Yeah. I feel like that's wrong. You're not supposed to say African Americans, blacks, but African American, a lot of them aren't African American. That's they don't true. like it. Some, you read me the Riot Act when I said African American. Blacks. That's true. Coloreds. Uh, <laughs> no. They're fleeing the United <laughs> yeah, States to get away from racism. This is what they wrote about in Essence magazine, even saying that this is a viable solution right now. It's being suggested by black activists under the rule of Trump. So just to give you a feel, by the way, for the author of this article, it's kind of gone by viral and it's been echoed by places, I think like the New York Times um, and maybe it was Huffington Post. Uh, Kristen Kirsten, Kristen Kirsten, they got to think about that, Savali, I want to make sure I get her name uh, right. She claims that in America, black Americans, will go with that. That sort of feathers it up. Black uh, Americans yeah. Yeah. took half from African American, half from blacks. Um, at black Americans that they're supposedly living in occupied territory and that the police are giving them, specifically under Trump, the right to kill them with impunity. That's part of the premise. Let's hear it from her. We talk about what's happened since Ferguson. You know, what's happened since then, she what's like happened since character. the inception of police departments, <laughs> that, yeah, um, that is a continuum of it. slave patrols Does who were meant earrings? to bring uh, enslaved black people <laughs> back to plantation, where the crime was not the dehumanizing institutional violence of slavery, it was actually people seeking freedom and they were meant to bring them back. So again, we're talking about occupied territories. We're talking about oppressed communities. We're talking about militarized police departments who have been given to write the kill with impunity. And it happens over and over and over again. Does your character have a hairnet? No. <laughs> Wait. <laughs> Guess who? <laughs> we, there we go. I raised yeah, it back yeah, up. Yeah. You, we all played Guess Who, right? Yeah. Yeah. yeah okay. Course. I really should get an it's actual prompter and then uh, apparently start using it. Oh, look what happened here. This whole thing just shut down. Thank you. Thank you. None of you can run prompter. Sorry. Think about so this. Using my hands, my hands my are doing do you loss. think that Sean Hannity has to do this? No. He reads exactly <laughs> what is written for him by somebody else. Yeah. True. yeah. Off screen. Okay. So Easy. that's uh, Kristen Savali. Let's take a look at some of these claims, though, that I think are pretty important. Uh, one of the claims. Okay. Uh, and you see this in the article, uh, not all from that clip, mm -hmm. that the Founding Fathers, they encoded dehumanization and <gasps> oppression into the Constitution to preserve their privilege. These are all direct quotes from Essence. I highly recommend that you go read them. Here's the truth. That's bullcrap. Okay. The entire world employed slavery. By the way, not just African Americans, okay? Yeah. But sorry about that. Sorry about that. Amtrak thanks you. The point is, <laughs> all of human civilization practiced slavery since the beginning of time to one degree or another. A lot right. of the world still does. We ended it. And something that this is the, the, something that's just shouted out a lot and so people accept it as true. The founding fathers were they were actually very troubled, deeply troubled by the idea yeah. of slavery. And they were already taking steps to try and pave the way to change the course of history and end slavery long before most other people were thinking about it, okay? So uh, the continuation of slavery was actually one of the primary gripes against King George uh, before we declared independence. I have a quote here from Thomas Jefferson. King George the third, the third, lest you be confused, has waged cruel war against uh, human nature itself, violating its most sacred rights of life and liberty in the persons of a distant people who never offended him, captivating and carrying them into slavery in another hemisphere or to incur miserable death in their transportation thither. That's always a good word. Nice. Uh, yeah. nice. Determined like to keep open a market where men should be bought and sold. He has prostituted his negative for suppressing every legislative attempt to prohibit or to restrain this execrable commerce. That is, he has opposed efforts to prohibit the slave trade. Pretty clear. Mm -hmm. Now, again, keep in mind, this is something that was not only legal, but it was enforced at this point. Right now, let's say that there's an unjust law you disagree with. Often you'll hear people say this to the right. They go, well, if you disagree with this taxation, right. why aren't you actually violent, or why aren't pro-life people being more violent with abortion clinics? Because that's not what we advocate. We believe in working within the law. We believe in respecting the rule of law, even as we try to change it through the system of law that we have. Mm -hmm. So let's keep that in context. Benjamin Franklin, he said, a disposition to abolish slavery prevails in North America that many of Pennsylvanians have set their 
their slaves at liberty, and that even the Virginia Assembly have petitioned the king for permission to make a law for preventing the importation of more into that colony. This request, however, will probably not be granted as their former laws of that kind have always been repealed. Now let's go to some of the personal actions. Again, read the Essence magazine. It's predicated on the idea that our founding fathers were pro-slavery and wanted to continue it. George Washington. He made it so that his phrase could be sleeve, uh, his phrase, uh, his phrase, I had a stroke. Oh, yeah. His slaves <laughs> could be freed. I'm talking yeah. like her. It's a continuum. <laughs> it's a continuum. Um, he wanted his slaves to be freed uh, upon his death. It was, it was illegal, by the way, to do so while he was alive. Uh, Jefferson, by the way, he maintained a strong anti-slavery stance throughout his entire life. By his death, state laws had stiffened so much it was pretty much impossible for him mm. to uh, free the slaves as Washington had. But Washington did that. Upon his death, he freed his slaves. Another claim she makes, there is no corner in the United States where it's safe to be black. Here's the truth. Bullsh**. <laughs> it's not even close. <laughs> no place in the United States where it's safe to be black. Mm -hmm. Plano, Texas. Burlington, Vermont. Cedar Rapids. Take your pick, Miss Guess Who. <laughs> As a matter of fact, do you know where do you know where black do you know where black Americans are safer? in general, in the United States. Can you guys take a guess as to where black Americans mm. are safer in this country? No, no. where? <laughs> Tell us. What is it? What is Could it? it possibly? They're safer in white areas, oh. predominantly white areas than black areas, as they're far less likely to be the victim of crime through the hands of white Americans than fellow black Americans. I take no joy in that. That's a statistical reality, but I won't. I bet you won't. You're not going to hear that on the SPLC's latest hate crime email no. newsletter. Instead, nope. they'll be talking about Proud Boys not getting into a bar fight with some guys and bandanas around their face. By the way, oh, if you uh, want to check me check. on this uh, as to black Americans being safer in white areas, all the, Af the aforementioned cities, okay, they're all safer for black Americans than predominantly black cities. You can look at the list of safest cities in the country, by the way, for both white and black Americans, you can look at those stats. Then, if you wanted to find the least safe cities for black Americans, you would have to take that list, scroll down, keep scrolling, keep scrolling, the least safe, yep, that would be Detroit, in St. Louis. Yeah. And I don't know which one. I think Detroit is worse, but Definitely. you guys have it pretty bad. Yeah, St. Louis is, it's, uh, it's. This a, is the part where you argue for the check and you say, no, 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 St. Louis is worse, but. Yeah, St. Louis is definitely. <laughs> but not deep down, worse. we all know. We all know. <laughs> and a good point is that's not a race thing, but I'll tell you what is uh, where you could attribute something here to race. You could attribute the voting block, and not black Americans, because you look at the changes in the voting block under Donald Trump, but the activists, like this writer for Essence Magazine, and like the activists who've tried to speak for the black community to instate policies that have systematically destroyed them. The problem is a lot of these people are not really representative of black Americans. Go right. ask black Americans right now if you could pay for a free ticket for them to go to any country outside the United States to live forevermore. No one would take it. So someone like this, let's be really, no, really clear no, here. She doesn't speak for most black Americans, nor do the BuzzFeed boldly lesbians. We need to be really clear <laughs> about this. I feel like black people in the media, unfortunately, are often represented by social justice warrior leftists and not the true average black American voice who is probably the moderate base of the Democratic Party today. Yeah. Let's be clear. You may run into the occasional, let's say, white racist farmer in Cedar Rapids. I don't know. I'm not familiar with Cedar Rapids. If there's one farmer who's like, I don't know. Listen, don't lump me in. I don't know. Let's call it your neighbor. Um, but a <laughs> black American is far safer, say, in Burlington, Vermont, or Frisco, Texas, or Cedar Rapids than Chicago. It's not even close. And the good news is, black Americans, you can move to any of those places, and you can still get BET. Yeah. <laughs> What about You're, the O network? I am not entirely familiar with the Oprah? O network, but Oprah? I, yeah, I know who she o is, everywhere. but I've never watched it. That Opa. being said, I'm sure there's a package available for that. Yeah. See, you all the white people, they get to watch their Matlock, and you, black Americans, Christians, you can watch your, your Family Matters or your Mo Apostrophe Neek. Big Tech has something for everyone. By the way, <laughs> it's hit the, the notification package. bell if you're subscribed, because subscriptions don't mean a whole lot these days. Hit all notifications. Uh, and we also have the channel Crowder Bits up on YouTube, yeah, um, which is ironically, I think, monetizing this channel is not. <laughs> uh, okay. Can't make sense of it? Steven. Don't even try to. Don't talk about Mug it. Club. We're funded by mugs, not a foreign caliphate. Here's another <laughs> claim. Uh, the term Blacksit is used, and she uses this in her article in essence um, and talks about it. The term blacksit is used to describe black Americans leaving the country due to racism to live somewhere else. And this is important because this person is brought on to television programs mm -hmm. to talk about the blacksit. So this term is used, and what does that assume? It assumes that it's actually going on. A blacksit, right. which is coined by activists. It's not. Statistically, there is no blacksit. Funny story, actually. Funny you should ask, viewer who I can't speak with, but I can spy <laughs> on your webcam because you don't have a sticky note or use ExpressVPN. Under President Donald Trump, the single fastest growing group of legal immigrants is... Oh, oh. 
Africans. Mm. Mm. Look at that. Yeah. With the number of African wow. immigrants growing at a rate of almost 50% wow. from 2010 to 2018. And oh, a third of those were just Obama's half brothers. <laughs> oh, so much family. Those guys are good. A lot of family. That's a, that's he doesn't awesome. even know it's all big, that much. It's a big family. That's great. James of his father. Um, <laughs> paternity test from his father. So, b- by the way, in this country, immediately following, this is important to note, the abolition of slavery, some free slaves were offered travel back to Africa, where there's a designated plot of yeah. land for the people who wanted to leave partially funded by Congress. <gasps> Most freed slaves were, they were not thrilled with it. Yeah. They decided, no, you know what, you keep your one way. <laughs> Here's another claim, this is from the article, according to the SPLC, you hear this a lot, uh, the number of hate groups has risen. Truth, <laughs> bullshit. <laughs> <laughs> Very much so. The SPLC includes churches, some of which I think are actually yep. at least half black churches and groups like the Proud Boys, which is a glorified drinking club. There aren't more actual hate groups. They've just broadened their definition. Second, mm. a review using the same methodology okay, that we're talking about here is these widely touted hate crime studies. Right. Here's a surprise. Here comes some cold water. It showed that Clinton's rallies were linked to an even greater rise in hate crime. So Mm. Either the methodology mm. is flawed or Hillary is 100% neo-Nazi. Oh, she just saw Dershowitz. She has that yeah. Gestapo look in her eyes. Someone get the Valium pen. Calm her ass down. I mean, it's just <laughs> remarkable to me. We're supposed to believe that Hillary Clinton is Ed Furlong in American History X. <laughs> I don't believe that's the case. I don't think that Hillary Clinton having a rally where nobody shows up or Elizabeth Warren is equivalent to someone being curb stomped in a hate crime. But if we're right. using your standards, you're worse. Mm. Yeah. Okay. Here's another claim. <laughs> Uh, the article, right, it goes on to cite that uh, black Americans l- uh, living in places like Ghana and Qatar, um, that they should be places where black Americans maybe should move to to achieve a higher standard of living and less discrimination. And they argue that some black people have moved to these countries. The truth about all, it's complete bullcrap. The quality of life is far, far lower in places like Qatar, despite what Clockboy tells you. And they still have indentured servitude to this yeah. day. What happened yeah. to the slavery argument? <sighs> Under the Qatar, Qatar, they have these things called sponsorship laws, okay? Sponsors can, I want to make sure I get this right, cancel workers' residency permits, prevent them from changing employers, deny them permission to leave the country, and they can report them to the police if they do so. There are similar laws in uh, the UAE, other countries in the Gulf state. By the way, women in prison in Qatar, uh, while we're not just talking about people of different races, women sentenced for being raped, sentenced to prison for being raped. I want to make sure that I'm clear, this is not hyperbole at all. An actual quote, a court handed down a suspended one year imprisonment sentence for engaging in extramarital sex and deported her. It also sentenced the man accused of raping her with 100 lashes for having extramarital sex and 40 lashes for drinking alcohol. So she, and this is what's important, not just that she was punished for being raped, they acknowledged that she was raped because they, pun- they, they punished the man for yeah. raping her. But he was punished less severely than the woman who was raped. And 40% of that same punishment was just because he drank alcohol. Right, exactly. <laughs> yeah. So if wow. you just like do Gosh. the, like I don't know, transitive property, <laughs> raping is... You know, if you drink two bottles of alcohol right. in that nation, it's, much worse. it's the equivalent of rape. Listen, I just want to figure out my risk-reward ratio here. <laughs> if I rape her, I will be punished eh, about two shots of Jägermeister. Okay, okay, that seems like a fair trade. Forty lashes, <laughs> all right, okay, this is going to hurt. So... <laughs> Uh, something else, black. Si- that didn't get too dark. I don't really like this whole segment is dark. I hate <laughs> that we even have bit, to talk right. about this. I hate that I have to acknowledge someone who's a leftist activist claiming to speak for black Americans, <clears throat> telling black Americans they should leave this country because people like us want to harm black Americans without impunity. It is just mind numbing to me. And you know what that does? That yeah. breeds more hate, uh, hatred with young black Americans. It's, if they see yeah, their we- people in charge saying that all the time, they're going to believe that people like us hate black Americans and want to harm them. We don't want that. We don't want to see that for anybody. Um, they cite examples of, of blacks living in, in Egypt, Vietnam. So let's go, the average yearly income in a place like Vietnam is $2,300. For Ghana, it's $2,100. Egypt, you up it a little bit, $2,800. That's wow. annual income. So Ooh. let's get this straight. This author and proponents of the Blacksit movement and the people on the media who, who host them in their little, you know, three-sectional views yeah, despite yeah. them being in the same studio. This author and these people that are advising Blacks to move to places not only where slavery is effectively still practiced, but where the yearly income is less than $3,000 a year. Right? While the median yearly income in the United States has increased more than $4,000 under Trump. It's increased more than the total salary, total income of people in these Whoa. countries. And I, I get it, but if you go over there, 
Where are you going to buy your sweet kicks? Uh-huh. Where will she get those hoop earrings? And exactly. I have no idea. Nets. Exactly. I don't know. I assume I assume that there they can probably steal them from an indentured servant. Yeah, that's exactly it. Because they're Actually, not human. Yeah, that's, that's By this, the way, that's humanizing. Those are shower curtain rings. A lot of people don't know. <laughs> She's resourceful. Oh, brilliant. Recycling. Yes. Oh, man. Good for the environment. So um, <laughs> I think you will see this narrative, by the way. We do have to get going uh, to the Ash Wednesday. Um, I think you'll see this narrative increasing as we go into the election. Especially, by the way, if, if Bloomberg is is still in the race, because the argument on race will, I think it'll become even more heated if it's if it's Bloomberg. Now, if it's if it's Pete Buttigieg, expect more accusations. The argument will center around homophobia. Just like remember, everyone who voted against Obama was branded a racist, mm-hmm. and then that switched to sexist overnight when Hillary Clinton was running. <laughs> Uh, if, yeah. if 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 the gay Alfred E. Newman lookalike secures the nomination, then they're going to play the gay card for Pete Buttigieg. But I think those are more sexism and homophobia. They're more like seasonal. Mm. They're more seasonal, Opera- right? Like pumpkin yeah. spice. Opportunistic. Right. The race card is always yeah. the ace up their sleeve. The, the race card is is like the star on the menu. Mm-hmm. That this is chef's recommendation oh. all <laughs> the time. Yeah. So here's my preemptive question. Uh, let me ask you this. Genuine question. Where on earth, right now, today, in 2020, do blacks have it better than in the United States? Let me be clear. Is there some discrimination? Of course. To what degree? That's a conversation, and it's one that I think that we should have. That's where it's a productive conversation. Are there individual racists? Absolutely, Court of Black Garrett is proof. Um, slavery was awful, of course, right? God, I have to be really clear. You have to say this 20 times as a white person if you're even touching the so subject sorry, of yeah. race. What's your opinion on slavery? Slavery was terrible, was yeah. awful. Don't make me have to repeat myself so that someone cuts it out of context. You're my lawyer. You're going to have to be on my defense team. You don't want those kinds of hours. Slavery <laughs> was awful. <laughs> no, actually, yeah. Got it? After we abolished slavery in the United States, it was still awful. In the continent of Africa. And it's still awful to this day. Yeah. In most of in parts of Africa, it's worse. But in all of Africa, it's still worse than the United States. But see, all of these things, all of the above can be true. Black Americans can face different forms of discrimination and still be living in the best place in the world for someone of their skin color, period. Hey, I hope you enjoyed this clip. If you don't, these are the ABCs of me, baby. You can just click next video and put it in double speed. Of course, search doesn't necessarily work. Subscriptions, notifications don't necessarily work. Just bookmark this page, check in. We do a new video every single day, except for Sunday. And if you don't want this content to disappear, join Mug Club at lighterwithcredit.com slash mug club. It's only $69 if you're a student, veteran, or active military. And um, if you don't, you know, listen, I, I don't want to say that you're hellbound, but it, it doesn't look good for you.